What's up my friends? So today's video is a Sephora haul. So this one isn't like super big. I just saw a few items that I was like, oh, I wanna try these out. So I picked them up. I also just saw some new launches that recently happened and I'm like, oh, I wish that these were launched when I made this order too. So I'm probably gonna make another order here soon. So I'll do a video again for you guys there. But anyways, before we get in the video, make sure to click the link down below if you want to enter the giveaway. I've been doing giveaways in like all of these videos. So make sure you click the link down below. You guys know what to do there. Give the video a thumbs up and also comment down below what items you want to pick up from Sephora. I would love to hear from you guys and what's on your wish list. So maybe I can make my wish list a little bit bigger for the next one as well. So leave those in the comments down below. But now let's just go ahead and get into what I got. The first item that I picked up is one from Nude Sticks and I have not purchased anything from Nude Sticks or seen anything from Nude Sticks in the longest time. And I was just kind of like searching online. I was like, oh, I really want to try out more like cream blushes because those are my favorite. And I came across these and I was like, oh my God, I want to use those. But the funny thing is, is when I was doing that makeup declutter and organization, I have a video of that on my channel already. I found some. And I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> like how, like, this is why I needed to really declutter this room. So I've actually been using one of them already. And I have to say, I love it. But the one that I've been using has been the one it's called In The Nude. And it's really neat. So it's got like a brush on this side and then it has the product right here. So you can use this for your eyes, your lips, like anywhere on your face. I use this for my cheek and my lips. And it's so pretty. It's actually the shade that I am wearing right now, but that's what it looks like right there. It reminds me a lot of the Jouer ones. And this one I feel like is a little bit more of a thicker consistency, but it's still beautiful and it blends out beautifully. So I've been really enjoying that. The one that I picked up though, which I was happy that I did not have the shade. So I don't have like two of them sitting around, but the one that I picked up is called Bare Back. So I'm really, really excited to use this one. This is bareback. Let's pop it open. Oh yeah, I'm gonna really like you. Oh my gosh, yes. This is also going to be a gorgeous lip shade. It kind of reminds me of the one I have from Jouer. Hang on. This is the one that I use from Jouer all the time. And the shades that I use is Uplift Me and Amuse Me. So this is Amuse Me that I use a ton right here. So I'm gonna put that down here. So there's Amuse Me. Try not to get this on my sleeve. And then this side I was really bummed because look at what happened to this side. I wonder who did that? Maybe someone named Riley Ray. <laughs> she got my stuff. And then this is, this shade is called Uplift Me. So this is like one of my favorite shades. And it's so similar. Oh my God, look at those. So similar. Oh, no wonder why I gravitated to that shade because I love this one. Oh my God, that is so funny. That is so funny. I have to say, yeah, definitely like the Jouer one, it's a little bit more of a thinner consistency and the Nude Six one is a little bit more of a thicker consistency, but they're still both great to wear. That is so funny. I'm cracking up right now. So yeah. Anyways, as we can all tell, I have a shade that I just gravitate to the most and that's that pink shade. That is too funny, but I'm excited about trying that one out. Anyways, next up we have a product from Urban Decay. I am so excited to try this out. This is the Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. You guys know, I love thinner, lightweight consistency, found, consistency <laughs> foundations. Just, I wanna like not really feel it on my face. And that's why I love my Coke and Dough one that I love so much, cause it's so thin and it's just so natural looking. And I saw this and I was like, ooh, hydrating, like tinted. Ooh, I am think I'm gonna like this. So I picked this one up. I picked up the shade 30 Light. It was kind of hard to like find a shade that I thought was going to work for me online. Um, I think this one will work for me kind of like in the mist, like the middle of a self tanner or whatnot. But I also wanted to get a little bit lighter of a shade because I know Urban Decay products tend to oxidize. They always get a little darker on the skin. That's one thing I've really noticed about their products. So I think this is going to work perfectly for when I'm like self tanned and stuff. Yeah, I think this is going to work fine. So this is the shade Light 30 right here. So you guys can see. That would actually kind of work for me right now too, which is awesome. So we definitely need to try this out tomorrow. 
I am super, super excited. I also really like the packaging of it. It makes it nice and easy, less mess free. You're not dealing with the glass, it's easy to travel with. It also has kombucha filtrate in it and marula oil. Ooh, marula oil is really good. If you guys have tried this out, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys if you've tried it out as well, but I think that will be a fun little testing one that we can do on like Instagram stories tomorrow morning. So we'll do that. Next up was a repurchase. And it's really funny because I actually found a whole stash of them <laughs> in my walk-in closet when I was doing my declutter. I'm like, are you kidding me? I love this concealer and I had this many <laughs> already. So I, I'm, I'm horrible, you guys, but I purchased another one. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This stuff is bomb. I love it. The shade that I got is Snow. I always like getting a little bit of a lighter shade because I like to use a more brightening effect. I feel like it just is more youthful looking on me and it just brightens up my face more. So I love to use a lighter shade in here. The one that I've been using right now has been Swan, but I think it's maybe a little bit too light for me when I am like self tanned. So Snow I think is going to be, or I know it's the perfect shade for me because I'm actually repurchasing it because my other one is in empties, <laughs> which by the way, a lot of you have been saying that you really want to see empties videos over here on my YouTube channel again. So I am starting another little bin and we will do empties over here again. So Hang tight. I think well, there'll probably be one here soon because I've been really running out of things quickly because I've been using and trying up so many products. So there should be one here within like the next month or so. But anyways, if you guys are looking for a nice like hydrating concealer that has great coverage, that does not move and slide around and doesn't crease, check this one out. It's so good. I actually kind of want to use Born This Way foundation again. I really want to try that one out again. I haven't used that foundation in a really long time. I wonder if I still have some in my foundation drawer. I need to go through that. For the last product that I picked up, which I told you guys is a small little haul, but hey, it's still fun. So this is from Dior and this is their Forever Skin Correct and I got in the shade 1.5 Neutral. So I have never tried this before. I have used a couple of their foundations. I like their Nude Air, I believe it was, and also that like spray one was great too but I haven't tried out any concealers from them. And I was like, oh, this looks really, really nice. And I really want to try it out. <laughs> I, oh, it's even got like a big, um, a big applicator to it too. Oh yeah, this is one I'm definitely gonna have to use when I am self tanned because I think it's gonna be too dark for me when I'm fair. And again, I got 1.5 neutral, so I would probably need like a 0 0.5 <laughs> when I'm fair, to be honest. So I'll let you guys know what I think about this one and how this one works out for me. I'm really excited to test it out. I've been on a, I don't know, I'm on a concealer kick right now. Even though I do have like my favorite Holy Grail concealers that I absolutely love. Like I love the Laura Mercier one. I love the Born This Way one. I like the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm still trying to find other ones to try out. I don't know, I think I'm just enjoying trying testing them out. Anyways, that is the end of this small little Sephora haul, but hey, it's fun just to sit here and just like talk about new makeup. I don't know, I just get so excited. You know, when you pick up some new products, you're like, ooh, I cannot wait to try it out. So there'll probably be another one down the line and then there also will probably be an empties coming to you soon and also a dopes and nopes. Well, I haven't done dopes and nopes in a while. I call it faves and flops now but basically a monthly favorites and flops of like what I've been trying out that's new, that I like and what I don't like. So that will be coming too. I've got that pretty much organized and we just have a lot of fun stuff to film. So thank you guys for watching. Give the video a thumbs up and then also make sure to enter the giveaway down below if you want to and good luck to everyone. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.